Hey, how's it going guys? Tech Notice here, and today I want to share with you some of the interesting apps that I have on my iPhone 10. Now, I haven't done this video in a very long time, so today I want to give you guys an update on what's going on with my iPhone 10 over here and what apps I'm running on it. Now, this list is going to be very short and simple because not many apps in the App Store are optimized for the iPhone 10 just yet. This device has been out for roughly only a few months, and most of the developers are optimizing it for the iPhone 8 and below because of the smaller screen size. However, I do have a couple of them here and I want to run through each one of them with you guys. Now, I'm sure you guys are questioning about my home screen right here with the cool Disney character with the two ears up top and the other side with the other ear as well for the time. We're going to quickly jump into that one first before we move on to any of the other ones. Now, this app is really cool because it does blend in the notch that the iPhone 10 does carry along with it. Now, we're going to quickly jump to it and I'll show you guys what it does. So right away, we can see a duplicate of what our home screen looks like. So this app does allow you to customize your own profile picture and your own background, but we're not going to jump into that one. If you guys do want to customize your own, just jump into the new plus icon right there. We're going to quickly jump into notch here and use the standard wallpaper that comes with it. Now, the first one is going to be this Disney character. I'm going to be assuming that this is Mickey or mini with the two ears right up top really cool and then jumping over to the next one we have a bunch of them right here it seems like this one is a cat a cooler a rounded off edge this one we already seen in my previous videos and overall it's very nice you guys can see at the bottom we do have another notch that rounds everything off just really nicely and we can preview it down here and we'll jump over the notch one more time we'll just swipe across and you guys can see how it blends in very well with the background all right and just swiping over to the right side a little bit more you guys can see we have a vast amount of options here we can have the squiggly lines the sp little spike hairs at the top a castle looking thing and pretty much a t-shirt pretty much anything that you guys can think of there is a notch for it now we're going to quickly jump back out into the home screen and we're going to jump into the next app here and it has to do with wallpapers as well so we'll jump into live wallpaper you guys can download all of this free in the app store so you guys will have a huge array of options here just swipe over to the other side if you guys don't like the wallpaper that's currently on the screen swipe 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 and you guys can keep swiping all over she's looking very nice there and keep swiping swiping until you find the perfect one there are ads occasionally so once you guys swipe and you guys found the perfect one just click save onto the screen and you guys will be prompted to jump into the photos app so you guys can see a pretty interesting live photo of the space station now i'm going to hold on to it and it works exactly as a live photo and once you guys are satisfied with the image all you have to do is just click save so once you guys are in photos all you have to do is just hit use as wallpaper and hit live photos and pretty much you're good to go once you have that done just jump back out into the lock screen or the home screen wherever you set it to work and hold on to it works exactly like this so moving on to the next app this one is probably one of the best apps that i have on my iphone 10 here i had it ever since i got the iphone 10 out of the box i installed this is probably one of the first apps i installed so you guys already know how much i hate youtube ads as i mentioned in my previous video and i watch all my videos on the safari player however i do see some ads time to time much less than the app itself so i do recommend this to you guys so once you guys are in the safari tab just scroll down to the bottom you guys will see content blocker and enable ad guard now you guys will never see a single ad inside safari ever again you guys can watch any video you guys want pretty much the only thing that i do hope ad guard will update in the future is third-party app support so i hate seeing ads inside facebook as well so if you guys are interested in downloading this one definitely just jump inside the app store and it's available right there for you guys all right so we're going to be moving on to my favorite games the first one is going to be splashy dots now the objective of this game is pretty much connect all the dots and this is going to draw an image out and the last the ending point is going to be at that circle right there so i'm pretty bad at the game itself but I'll give it a shot on camera right here. Every time that you do make a mistake, it is going to tell you to reverse back to normal again. But let's go over to the yellow side. And pretty much I'm very bad at this game, but yeah. So it does have to go in a solid line. It can't just jump directly over here. And I am missing one right here. So, but you guys do get the point here. So it's a very fun game overall. And it is optimized for the iPhone 10 perfectly here. So I really recommend you guys download this one if you guys are bored. Now the next app that I am Now the next app that I'm so excited to play every single day is Plush now the next app that I'm so interested in playing every single day is Push to Pop. So jumping inside, I'll explain to you guys exactly how it works, but they're pretty much these little box and you try to fill in the box. It's pretty much like Tetris here. So again, it is optimized for the iPhone 10. This is what this video is all about. Pretty much every app that I do play has to be full screen. So here's the objective of this game. Blocks are always falling down exactly like Tetris. And you guys just have to move around and try to block, try to move all the blocks up and down until it fills up the screen. And once they get into one full line, that's when they start disappearing. So blocks are going to continue falling down if you guys don't do it quick enough. 
it is going to trap you inside and that's when the game is completely over but yeah that's essentially the objective is of this game it's very fun when you guys are bored i mean if you guys are going shopping and you guys found a seat outside of a store all right and the final one here is going to be called break blocks and it's pretty simple you guys would just have to tap on each block and pretty much that's the objective of the game it will get quicker and it's pretty much like musical piano i believe can't remember exactly what it's called, but every time you drop down, you guys will lose. And you have to play a video or something like that to continue. Otherwise, you guys will lose and the game is over. So there you guys go. This should be it for my little update on my iPhone 10. These are my apps that I do run on it. Of course, I do have a bunch of other apps as well, but I don't find them as interesting. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did and you guys want me to do more of these minor little video updates on what apps are running on my devices, do let me know in the description below or the comments below, I mean, and this should be it. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace out.